Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy On Demand, and welcome back to a project run through in Woodstock. Sometimes you just come across houses that put a total smile on your face, and this is one of them. This is like a super cool house. You don't realize how big it is until you go around back. Um, whoever built this house used all kinds of materials, was probably a general contractor, and just it looks like he built it out of salvage materials or things he had left over from jobs. And so the customer wants us to We'll prime all the brick and then paint the brick sections. We'll repaint the whole house once we do all the carpentry repairs. There's a ton of repairs on this house. Um, these folks have had it for six or seven years and it really needed to be painted back when they bought the house. So people get busy, stuff happens. Um, we'll do a ton of carpentry work on the house. It's all five quarter by four inch uh, or one by fours. And so on the chimney here, we'll actually replace, replace this whole right piece right here you can see the woodpeckers are in it replace this horizontal piece we've got on the right front corner right here that little triangle piece right there the bottom's broken off most builders make that out of built-up pieces we'll replace that with a solid piece um, when we come back with the painting we suggested a darker gray on the trim and a lighter gray like amazing gray or unbelievable gray on the inside stucco panels these are some sort of a synthetic panel um, the house will look really cool though and so around the center of this, it can be a little hard to see it, uh, but you can see the rot in, this, in the center panel right here. Uh, and so we'll replace that vertical piece all the way across, piece in new horizontal, the right side too. Um, I can't really get into these bushes too well back here, um, but you can kind of see this, this right piece right here, uh, this area right here, and then across here, and this inside corner is rotted as well and so is the fascia up along that line right there. You have to bear with me as you shoot these videos. We started using an iPad. Everyone's trying to get me to get a little more technologically advanced and I'm old school. I just don't like doing this stuff. Uh, so I'm used to using an old Sony camera and they're trying to get me away from that. When you go up along this roof line up here, that piece along the roof, the fascia board and the soffit underneath it are rotted. Um, we need to seal the edges on these gutters all the way around. They have started to leak. They haven't rotted out yet. Uh, we'll also repair the mortar. You can see some of the cracking in the mortar right in this area on this tower. And there's some over here as well. All these areas right through here. And then the back side of the chimney, both of the rear corner boards are rotted. So we'll replace those. Uh, when we come to the front door, we see these kind of repairs all the time where carpenters who don't have our skills do horizontal cuts. So you can see what's happening on this door right here where it's, it's starting to rot again right in here. We see those on a job like this, we just do those for free. Um, you can see the soffit right here and the fascia behind this little gutter had both rotted out. It's just a design error. There's nothing we can do with all these cool towers and bump outs. The water gets caught in there and um, we'll prevent some of it by replacing that soffit with hardy panel and then we'll back prime both sides of it and the same with the fascia board. That's kind of our trick to keep stuff from rotting. When we paint, we'll get in here where the stonework is and we'll seal and caulk everything. We'll seal and caulk the windows. Most of this house has never been caulked. So the amazing thing that for this homeowner is while he's got a lot of rot on this house, it's not as bad as it could be. Not at all. He's got a few gables like this front dormer right here to the, the right of the garage. You see that beveled looking wood up there? That's T111 panel. We can come back in here with a hardy shake or a hardy panel, or they still make T111, whatever the homeowner wants. That right fascia board, it's actually this one right here. It's hard to see in the video. This right fascia board right here is totally warped out. So even though it's only rod in the bottom corner and rod at the top, we'll replace that whole piece. Here, we'll replace that fascia board behind that section of gutter right there. And then we've got a whole bunch, this, the freeze board along the bottom where that roof is right there, all the way across to the bottom of the window, all the way across to there. We'll replace all that. And again, everything we replace is back primed and sealed, so it won't rot again. At this left corner of that front dormer, we'll get that corner board right there. And there's another piece the video won't really get that's up this roof line, kind of around that corner. You can see it swelled right there. This window just needs to be painted and sealed. It's in pretty good shape there. You know, and what this the previous owner did or the builder, some of this is hardy panel or hardy trim right here. We don't recommend using it, but it's here, so we'll leave it. But then the, the back piece behind it is wood, and it's rotted down at the bottom in that corner. And this freeze board right here along the bottom of the garage is rotted out. He's got masonite siding right here. It's what we called beaded with a bevel. 
and so we'll replace that bottom piece all the way across. The rest of it's good. When we hand paint it, it'll seal up and it'll be fine. Even though it's not rotted, he'll probably want to change this T111 right here. Between these two panels, that one and this one and the little fellow on the window there, uh, it's a full sheet, so we'll have materials for it anyway. The left and right two by eight frames at the garage, uh, I'm trying to show you right there. This one's rotted pretty far up, so we'll replace the whole piece. This one over here, we can make an angle cut and piece it into the rot. So it'll just save them a little bit of money. But this house will be an amazing house when it's all fixed up. The left side, someone came through. I think a lot of this had rotted, so they came back in through here with hardy panel. The problem with hardy trim is that in areas where there's a lot of water, it will delaminate, even hardy planks. So I'm pretty sure this is hardy. On a lot of houses, uh, we went to one today that the homeowner was told that it was hardy, and it's, it's Nichihana. It's just a cheaper product. But none of this stuff has been caulked. Um, so the real expense on, on his paint job, we'll hand paint it, but we'll caulk every one of these. They're really call, called battens. And so they cover the joint between these two stucco panels right here. Uh, and they've never been caulked. You can put your fingers right under them. So we'll caulk that stuff all the way through. He's got an amazing lot back here. I mean, this house is really cool. I love houses, obviously. It's one of the reasons I never sold Handy Andy. Uh, and, and why we're back growing the company the way we always plan to. So we're opening a location in Cartersville right now uh, to go with our Cobb County location. And we've got one over in Gwinnett County as well. Um, back here on the back of the house to save us some money since we're painting, we'll just fill these bore bee holes. It's actually the woodpecker's trying to eat the bore bees. So we'll fill, fill those holes and just seal it up and paint it. Um, back here, he's got this horizontal trim piece right here above the garage. We'll go ahead and replace it past the rot, so it's about 12 feet. The right garage door, the left frame is rotted right down in there. You can sort of see it right there. And you've got the same issue right here on the right side of the left garage door frame. The rest of the trim back here looks pretty good. There's a piece over this roof section back here. This is hardy trim, and you can see where it's starting to peel and delaminate. The water's getting into it. You just don't want that kind of trim installed in areas that are really getting a lot of water. So every time it rains, the water runs right down against that. We'll replace it with back prime and sealed wood. So believe it or not, in that particular location, you're better off with wood. And you can see they did the hardy trim right here. See how rough the uh, the edges of it are? You can sort of see it in this, there you go. That's how you can kind of tell it's hardy. But see the gap right here? It's never been caulked and sealed. So all that water's getting behind at the stucco panels and causing them rot down there. He's got some rot in these bottom freeze boards down here at the bottom. And again, a lot of it's in good shape. Uh, with caulk and good paint, he'll be in great shape again. But every one of these panels needs to be caulked and sealed. He's got a little bit of rot right here at the bottom edge. You can sort of see right here. And then left and right sides of this side entry to the garage. And then you can see where all that mold is growing in there. Those bottom freeze boards are both rotted as well. He's got a little bit more rot around this bottom to the left of the rain barrel up the center through here and again you can see so much water splashing down in here see where the hardy trim is delaminating so we'll replace that piece all the way across back into this corner underneath the threshold support right here uh, for this other door and this door also you can see has a lot of, of rot either side they tried to repair it with hardy trim so i think what happened is as this builder was doing stuff he used recycled hardy trim and then in areas that he had a lot of rot with the wood he just came back in and, and replaced that stuff with with hardy uh, when you're going up the gable right here, I'm going to apologize to the sun. There's two little small dog ears on either side. We'll just repair those. They're rotted out. Um, the left side fascia board and soffit over here is rotted. And then you've got this right corner right here. I don't know if the camera's going to be able to get it right there. You go. See all the rot in there? We'll probably come back at some point here and redesign this area uh, just because it gets so much water. And the water's actually coming down and getting into this corner uh, up here. Sorry. Right in there. And then underneath to this soffit area that I'll show you in a second. So we'll come back under here and replace this soffit underneath all the way to that vent. We'll catch about 95% of what he's got that's rotted. And the boys, once they break out the ladders, they'll find some more. Over by the rosemary plant back here, we got a, the rotted center right here underneath the window. This right side piece against the window will replace that whole piece. When he wants to, we can custom make these arch windows. We have a, a manufacturer that makes them for us. We've got the right and the left horizontal. 
are rotted out as well. It's all pretty basic stuff for us. The key is doing it right and back priming and sealing and caulking everything. Right at the corner, the freeze board is rotted right here. Uh, he's got above this upper gable up here. It's so hard for me to see in the sun. That center piece right there is rotted out. He's got another piece of rotted uh, batten right here. And we'll just cut it from here right there and piece it in. Once it's painted, nobody will notice. Really a beautiful house, though. I love projects like this. I grew up in a house that was built in 1740, and that's really how I learned this business. I was my mama's free labor on all that stuff. Going up along this roof line, you'll see this five-quarter board right in this area, right up above through here. We'll replace that whole piece. He's got, you can see that fascia board, the boar bees really got into it right there. And so we'll replace that piece. You can catch the back of the chimney. He's got some, that horizontal piece right there, and he's got a corner board that's rotted. This French door back here, he's gonna go ahead and change it to something else, a slider, I think. Uh, so we'll install the door for him, and then we'll replace the, the one by fours by eight foot all the way across. Some areas we'll piece them in, some areas we'll just replace the whole stick. But what a cool house. I mean, he's got his putting green back here. The kids have a total place to hang out and play. It's really surprising what he has back here. We work on a lot of houses. This one will be fun. We're one of the few companies left in Atlanta that will actually hand paint a house. Nobody does it anymore. So this thing will be hand painted with two coats of paint to change colors. It'll be a beautiful job. It'll look good for about 10 years, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, we use on a house like this, we'll be using duration. Our cost on that paint is 55 a gallon. And people roll their eyes at me. You know, they don't think we pay that. And I'd be happy to show you the receipts. That's our price on it. It retails for 85 a gallon. Uh, that's one of the best paints in America, and that's why we use it. You can use when it gets hotter, you know, if you're painting in dead summer where it's 120 degrees on that surface, you can use super paint, which is not as good. It's another Sherwin-Williams product. Um, you know, it'll hold up pretty well. We'll still get 10 years out of it. Some of the duration jobs we've done, we've gotten over 15 years on those jobs. But what a beautiful house. When it comes to painting, it's all about your prep work. If you hand wash it, don't let guys get out here with a 4,000 PSI pressure wash. They're gonna tear up your house, tear up your siding. Uh, we just saw a house yesterday. They cleaned it, caulked it, and painted it all in one day. And yeah, it was a cheaper price than ours. I bid $6,500 for that particular house, and the customer got it done for $3,500, but she'll be redoing it next year. So we pretty much do everything. Be patient with us. It's me, my brother, and 30 guys. We're running all over Metro Atlanta. You can reach us in the office at 770-912-2829. Houses like this are just fun and a pleasure to find and, and work on, and you won't recognize this house when we're done with it. We pretty much do everything, so uh, keep us in mind. Just, again, be patient. It gets a little crazy over here. I'm Andy. See you at the next house. Bye for now.